single player experience. If you happen to find yourself waking up on Mars, alone, without anyone to survive with, do not fear. Memories of Mars offers a lot of gameplay for the lone wolves among us. Exploration of the world can provide many new opportunities. Finding and looting keycards will give you a GPS location which, upon arrival, will allow you to dig up any hidden supplies that may have been left behind. Meteor strikes seem to be falling a lot this time of year, and exploring the crash site will give you access to rare, non-Martian materials needed for high-level crafting and base building. Remember, if you're solo, extra scouting measures are recommended to avoid any unwanted confrontation. For example, using some rangefinder binoculars, getting an idea of the open ground distance that you might have to cover. If you manage to survive long enough on Mars, you will surely encounter some interesting inhabitants. All enemy AI on Mars is designed. By this, we mean it will actively try to flank you, adjust to your shooting patterns, use cover to its advantage, as well as attack you with a variety of nasty projectiles. Enemies can be attracted by sound, whether or not you're bleeding, or if you just happen to be in their territory for too long. Without progression system, it won't take you long to get yourself the foundations required to build a base. Our building system allows you to build practically everywhere. You can tuck yourself away in the corner of the map, perhaps building up a mountain, giving you a better opportunity to survey the landscape, allowing you to plan your next moves. That's about it for this video of our single player experience on Mars. There are a lot more opportunities for you to discover, but we won't want to spoil everything now. See you soon and I hope you survive.